Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at a really awesome little asset called the Unity Icon Downloader. And do you ever one of those people who gets really annoyed because you've always got to search for icons and you know search the ends of the earth to try and find something that you might want? Now I might have an asset for you, which and it can do it all in Unity Editor, which is adding an image to a canvas, and then you can search for whatever you want. So be sure to check out my Patreon and support the channel and get access to over 145 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description, all the savings across Humble Bundle, the Unity Asset Store and so much more. Be sure to throw a like on this video and be sure to always be subscribed for all the new content, which is a package on GitHub by Dogramasigo Khan, if I pronounced that correctly, and I'll put the link in the description for you guys to get hold of this. And it comes with instructions on how to install it, how to use it, and what it can help you do. Now we're going to just go through the basics of it. So what we need to do to get started, we need to copy this link here to get the actual repository that we want. So at the end, you can just click the little copy button or you can copy it yourself. Make sure you don't have an extra space on the end when you do copy it. You can go into Unity and you can go to the package manager and then you can go to the top here, which is add package from git URL. We can paste that in, click add, and then it'll try and find the package in git and then it'll install it for us just automatically. Now do be aware that we might get a bunch of errors because we need to install another dependency. So the Unity RX dependency is we need to also install. So we can grab that and go back to Unity again. Go add git from URL and paste that in. And then we're gonna install the same thing just in the same way. And once that's done, it should get rid of the errors that we've got now. And then what we need to do is we need to go to tools, icon downloader, and we need to go to settings. And you have some settings at the top, which will be icon finder and then flat icon. Now you want to enable both of these because these are the two things that are currently included in this package which you can enable and you just need to click to get the API key. In the first case is icon finder and you'll be taken to a website where you'll want to click to get an API key. And then it will tell you that you need to create a new application to do so. I've already signed in and created my own application. So what I want to do is I'm just going to copy my API key from there and I'm just going to paste it in exactly like so. And then also we do the same for flat icon and we can request the API key from there. And we can just paste that in our box there and we can click to apply changes. You can also say that you want to download the license data for each of the icons that you want to download if it's not already ticked. Now what you can do is you can right click, choose UI and you can choose image on a canvas. Now I've got the image here and you can see that now we have search icon in this side. So what we could do is we could search for something. In this case, in the example, I'll search in for an apple and I'll click to find it and we'll get a pop out and we can search for all the different icons that are associated with those two things, maybe different apples that we want. So say we're looking for an on apple and you can filter it by premium, free and different stroke types and whether you want it the monochrome or a colored icon. So you can see whether they're black and filtered. So maybe I want this apple. You can just click select and you can save it to wherever it will be by default or choose somewhere else. And then we can choose what resolution we want. So I may want a 64 because I may want a really small one and then I want a 1024 and I can just hit download. And then once that's done, I can close those up. I can see that now in my icons, I have now the 1024 with the license and I have the 64 with the license. And you can see it's already applied it to my image component now. And that's one of my icons that I wanted. And again, as I said, we can do the same thing. We can add another image and we can find something again. So we can look for something like dinosaur and we can see what dinosaurs we could find. And then we can see what's suitable to download. A lot of these are premium icons and they can be purchased through your account. But if we want to something that's free to use, we'll see what we've got here. We can have 512 and I'll stick to 64 and we can download this in here. And then we have our dinosaur icon that we wanted and be sure to check out that if you go to tools icon download and you go to search you can specify that if you want it to be premium by default or free by default what icons you want by default or whether you want to be able to download with a selection or just with a single icon so like i said i think this is a really awesome asset which i think you should all check out and be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below do come and check out my patreon if you want to get access to over 145 different scripts assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else come and join me on discord if you want to chat do check out my assets on the unity asset store and on my website to get bonus discounts on all those great assets and i want to say a big thank you to all my patrons 
But a massive thank you to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Tan Yanlin, David76, Sami Romani, Jean Pommier, Nigoyan, Matt Sindidinos, Zach Manos Vericas, Terence Conrad, Gade Linston, Dr. Walter Dunson, John John Games, Joseph Newman, Randall X, Mumu Zhu, and Rene Liga. So thank you to everybody who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.